Welcome to Richmond, the ninth race of the season. I have to go through this qualifying list fast. Alright, so get ready for the command. Two front. In honor of the Highway Patrol's 75 years of service, gentlemen, start your engines. Two on the front of the team, start up front. Oh, I shouldn't say on the front of the team. Guys, it's real life today, just like I said, today in the meeting, you know. This Both is a good race track, it's a good place for us, I think the pit crew is ready Mr. to go. Curtis, once again, was close to a pole, he'll stay, he'll still start up the front part of the field. How many rookies do we have? We've got like a million rookies. But that don't matter. And you know what? S what do you call it? Short track night racing. You know what that means. Tempers will flare. Oh, full moon. No, it doesn't have to be. Oop. Could be any kind of moon. He starts on pit road. Green flag! Sorry, I didn't pay attention for a second. I to do something first. Hopefully it's not a wreck fest, but probably it will be. And watch out, watch out. Three wide, they're gonna make it stick. Probably not. Wait. Oh man, this is so hard for most of these rookies. Look at that 33 car have to drop out. There's a little lot of spots. Se second to seventh. Yeah. Battle for the lead, Joseph Curtis versus Jason Trost the second. I believe Jake Joseph Curtis no wait no it's not Joseph yeah it is. Has two poles this season. And but he's hasn't got a win yet. I believe his first start was at Texas. And looking through the field. Jason Cross the seconds comes right back, takes the lead away. Followed by C. Emerson. Caution's out this time. And a few cars in it. But the 51, a pole sitter, will now lead us under the caution flag. As we take a look at a replay of what happened. Okay, here's a wreck. Three wide. 93 car might have thought he was clear. Yeah, it kind of looked like it. Two car might have got the worst of it. Got some stuff torn off. A few more cars. Two SHR cars were involved. But uh, let's take it back to the restart. Here we go again. No drivers dropped out of the race. We still have 42 cars remaining on track. Remaining on the track. Green flag back down the air and looks like that 51 car spun the tires. 24 car C. Emerson got a way better start. Gives the bump and run. Does it again. And how does that 51 car hang on? Just tap the bumper twice. And the caution's out again. I suspected that. Saw the red lights on pit road. But the uh, caution's out once again. As we take a look at the replay of what happened again. Okay, here's the replay. Chris Kyle in the 20 car. George Tross. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Looks like he knew the 20 car was really fast, so he's trying to step on that gas. Because he doesn't want to lose any spots, looks like. Spins himself out and a 20 car. And heavy impact. The Sam Curtis and that 20 car's back at the rear is completely destroyed. I wouldn't expect that car to go back on track. Ash Curtis going for a spin. Anyone else? Nope. Now I'll take it back to the restart. Alright. The 17 car, of course, is out, so you saw that damage on the car. So, 41 drivers the main green flag back down the air, and this time the 24 car spun the tires. Give the advantage to the 22 car Noodles Noodly. He has not had a good season in trucks. 
and hopefully he can redeem all of that in the Nationwide and Cup. His last win was on an open wheel car, so he hasn't won in a stock car for a long time. 43 is on pit road. That 20 car looks like he's fast, and that whole rear is completely destroyed. He just zoomed, and whoa, that two car nearly spins out Wiley Houston Jr. That 20 car is actually making some ground. Whoa. Just slipped for a second. Whoa. Casey Mears just pushes Rhea Takita away. Now she's going to lose way more spots than usual. Well, it looks like it. They're going to go three wide now. Three wide entering turn. Three and four. Teammates right behind. Watch out. Careful. Teammates not even might not even work with each other. Noodles Nulia has taken over the lead. We're now two laps away from halfway. Eric Aloroma. Okay. The leaders are catching up. So now only one lap away from halfway and that 51 car is working working that 22 bumper because just keep on tapping him but still cannot get past him defending champion this season is Louis Newley season 3 M&M's Cup Series champion also Daddy Bush Series champion the only series who has a secondary sponsor in the logo thing. Well, actually, this. I just say the feeder series. Oh, we got a crash! Whoa, this time it's big! Really big! Humongously big! Okay, not really. Watch out! Watch out! I'm just keeping an eye on that 20 car. Even though with that heavy impact, he's still making a lot of ground. Well, let's take a look at the replay. What happened? Bob Johansson and Joseph Curtis overshot the corner. And pretty much he run his own self up into the wall. Hard impact. Head on. And that small wreck happened, and then this happened. Hold on, Martin Truex Jr. And he was he was slamming the brakes as hard as possible. See that 34 car tried his best to avoid it, but then he ends up clipping the 56 and 36, and a whole bunch more. And you see the 55 of Ben Siebert, who has not had a good season in both series. And he's wrecked again. And this, I thought that 31 car was gonna run him over. Well, luckily he didn't. Now I'll take you back to the restart. Here we go again. Three drivers are a lap down. Another two are out of the race. 39 drivers remain on track. 36 of them are still on the lead lap. Now, we see Noodles nearly getting, was in front. Was well, so close, or getting it so close to having a chance to win the race, until something wrong with the, something went wrong with the car. That happened twice in the nationwide se series. And that 43 car, try and get his lap back. He's trying. He got it, but he hasn't cleared him yet. Noodles giving some room. On the 42 car, Jeff James kind of passed Jason Tross. Can't seem to make it yet. Stop traffic will be a factor for most of these faster drivers. Jason Tross now takes that advantage and he'll now take over the lead as the caution's out again. 
Oh no! Whoa! Big pile up! One car upside down, it's Colin Martell. This time it's a humongous pile up. Hey, yeah, see how it Well, once again we're under caution. Let's take a look at the replay. Again. Oh no, this is bad. Look at this. Chris Watcher. Wow, looks like he just went dead right and, sl and just tapped the 36 car. This is his fourth time upside down. And this is the third time he's been upside down in a cup car. Wow, look at that. Upside down for the fourth time in his career in both series. Another, wow, that's gotta be crazy. He's only a rookie. He's only ran 18 races. Nine in the Cup, nine in the Nationwide Series, and he's already been upside down four times. That has never happened in my league before. A driver flipping four times in less than 20 races combined. Colin Martel also went upside down. So, this is violent. I don't know what, see, these other drivers. I don't know who made, who installed the New Hampshire Safer Barriers at Richmond. But you know how Safer Barriers in Richmond is so weird? How come cars get so much air for some reason? Because, yeah, a lot of people always say that Safer Barriers at New Hampshire are screwed up. But uh, another, another big pile up as we take you back to the restart. Here we go again. So now four drivers, a total of four drivers are out. Two of them are lap down. 36 remain on the lead lap. A total of 38 cars remaining on track. Less than 10 to go. Lap traffic does not start in the inside lanes. That gives you, that just takes off some pressure for these slow, faster drivers. Green flag back down here. And the first four cars still spinning the tires. See, Emerson got a way better start earlier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Saved it. Jeff James is trying his best to get past people as fast as possible. Lord. He tried to make the pass on the 51 car earlier. Couldn't make it. Noodles new lead. On the bottom, once again, takes the lead, but hasn't cleared. High lane can be good. At Richmond, but preferred line, of course, is the inside lane. Do not bring out the coffee. Do not bring out the coffee. Let them race it. Cross now making a charge. Is, is he gonna help? Uh, Jason Cross the second. The two crosses is this. Are they gonna work together? Or are they gonna fight for the for position? Maybe even the win. But they're not quite up there yet. And Jeff James has taken the lead. I didn't see that coming. Well, actually, yeah. He's seeing his car is way too tight. But now it's maybe loosen up just a little bit. No. Was that the caution lights? Oh no. But they're gonna race it back. These two drivers. It's too late though. Or is it? Looks like Jeff James will take home the checked flag. Just have to make one lap around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful, easy. Well, caution's out again. <sighs> We're gonna end this race under caution. They just have to make one lap around. Just to finish the race. I should have just let them go. Why is there no cancel caution button? But, uh, Jeff James. A, n a name that I've heard of before. He'll take home his first Cup Series checkered flag here at Richmond. And there's gonna be fights all over Pit Road. Trust me on that one.
But let's take a look at the replay of what caused this. Oh, uh, Carl Edwards made a risky move. Dive bomb. Plowed into the 39 car. Oh, three of them in the wall. Well, except flashed. Then the 20 car did get involved. No, he's safe. Who else? He's driver's on. Okay, there's, then there's another one right here. Yep. Oh, there's two Joe Gibbs car also. I didn't see that. What happened to them? Oh, same thing. Try to avoid the wreck. Come back. There's something wrong with that banking. I think I have to fix that later on. Stop cars for, from doing that. And then like another three dr drivers do this. Four, five, one million do the same thing. But let's take a look at the race results of today's race. All right, here's the official standings of today's race. Jeff Jarrett wins. Noodles Newly, second, third, Jason Trost, second, fourth, Jason Trost, fifth, David Rudman, sixth, C. Emerson, seventh, Cody Bailey, eighth, Panda Orioles, ninth, Joshua Michaels, and tenth, Ria Takiti. Ah, uh, damn. Here's the rest of the field. And hope you enjoyed today's race. We'll now take you to victory lane with Jeff James in it.